uh, the the version that I'm using is version 1.1.3 so this applies to uh, version 1.1 or later all right now when you first launch XBAL you will get this window this gives you a quick uh, tutorial basically on how to start uh, XBAL and what to do with it. Uh, for example, here it says that to start a new case, you click on this icon on the toolbar. Uh, you click here to import a counter balance moment from Rodstar, Rondiag, or XDiag. Uh, you click here to find a counter balance uh, recommendation. You click here to open a file and so forth. So let's start a new case by clicking on this icon. Um, the the fields you see here that are already filled in come from the setup option where you can actually specify defaults for company name, pumping unit, the most common pumping unit you have, username, uh, and also folder for opening and saving files and folder for importing files. You can customize the program by going to setup and doing that, you know, this this is the the icon for for setup <clears throat> but anyway um, let's put in a well name and then let's select the pump unit type let's say we have a Lufkin mark 2 notice how the program changes uh, when I select the mark 2 to uh, crank shapes that look more like mark 2 cranks and then here you can select the crank type so let's say we have uh, 12, uh, 120 108 MRA uh, as soon as we select the cranks the program shows us the maximum counterbalance moment for the cranks alone now at this point I haven't selected any counterweights yet the way you do that is you right click on the picture of the of the weight you want to select for example this is the front lead weight and by the way the labeling that you see here is you know if you were to be looking at the unit with the wellhead to the right uh, this would be the crank and that would be the closest to you that's the front crank and then this would be the crank that would be on the back side so um, for example let's say we want to put in a counterweight for this unit for this uh, position the front lead I right click on it then move the mouse to front master weight and here is the list of the weights that can fit on the cranks that I selected from the biggest to the smallest so let's say here we have s some ORO uh, one ORO weight here and the same thing over here and for the for the front lag we have a 3 CRO and the same thing here this is also a 3 CRO so as soon as we select the master weights the program shows those master weights labeled correctly on the cranks to specify the position of the weight which is inches from the end you know from the long end the free end of the crank to the beginning of the weight I can either type in the position here let's say 10 inches from the end and then I have to click outside this field for the program to move the weight or I can click and drag with the mouse to move the, the weight to the position that, I, I, that exists when you do it that way the program moves the weights by um, a quarter of an inch increments and if, if you want to fine-tune that movement you can use the spin buttons here uh, to move the weights by a tenth of an inch or if you don't have the patience for that you can simply type in the position of the weights now if you have auxiliary weights you know actually let me move this back crank weights here also but if you have auxiliary weights the way you specify them is you right click on the ma on the picture of the master weight select auxiliary weight number one then select your auxiliary weight in this case let's say it's an OS and when you do that the program puts a red outline over the master weight to indicate that you selected an auxiliary weight and also and, and also lists the auxiliary weight you selected in this box right here next to the master weight 
So let's say this one also has an auxiliary weight, but this one is an OD, that means double. Notice that the program puts a, a blue outline uh, on the master weight to indicate a double auxiliary weight. So when you first run XBAL, the, the function of the program is to give you your existing counterbalance moment based on the cranks you have, the weights you have, and where they are on the cranks. Um, once you obtain your existing counterbalance moment, then you can bring that into uh, the software that you're using to either analyze or design the well, uh, like Rodstar, XDIAG, or Rodstar. And those programs are the ones that calculate the counterbalance moment you need to balance the unit. Um, for example, here, uh, the existing counterbalance moment is 1190, as you can see. Now, I can save this. I can select File, Save As, and I can save it as a new file, but I don't really need, I don't, I don't actually have to do that if I don't want to. I can just simply minimize the program at this point. And let's say, for example, that I'm actually analyzing this well with XDIAG. In other words, I measured a dyno for this well and I'm going to analyze it. I'm going to find out what the gearbox loading is based on the existing cranks and counterweights. So the way you would do that is you would launch XDIAG, 